This is a video explaining how you can connect up a NAND gate, which turns off when both of the floating leads are connected, and on when only one or neither of the floating leads are connected. You will need a collection of components, including a breadboard, three 1 kilo ohm resistors. These are the resistors with bands coloured brown, black, red and gold. 2N2222 transistors, an LED, and about 8 connecting leads, as well as a power supply. For a power supply, you can use either a standard USB power supply buck and boost converter, as you can see here, or simply use a battery pack with two AA batteries, as here. You can find more details of the components at link 1 below the video. Make sure you connect all the components exactly as in the schematic diagram. You should also remember that the transistor has three different legs, a collector, a base, and an emitter. Because of this, it is important it is facing the same way as in the diagram, and that each leg is also in the correct position. If you are using the standard USB power supply buck and boost converter, simply connect the positive and negative leads in the same place you would the leads from a battery pack. When working with digital circuits, it helps if you can visualize how the current passes through the components and the breadboard, as you can see here. You can find these schematic diagrams at link 2 below the video. If you are unfamiliar with breadboards, you might want to first watch my video on breadboard anatomy, which you can find at link 3 below. A word of advice if you are using the USB power supply buck and boost converter. You should probably set the voltage quite low for this project, maybe about 2 or 3 volts. Make sure that you have connected up the entire circuit correctly before connecting the power. If this is done incorrectly, you could destroy your buck and boost converter. Also, make sure the leads are secured using a screwdriver so they do not slip out. You might also need an adapter to connect the converter to your computer if your computer has a USB-C port. If you've done everything correctly, the LED should flash on when either or none of the floating leads are connected and off when both are connected. If it does not work as intended, ensure that the positive long leg of the LED is plugged in on the correct side and that the transistors are facing the right way. Also check all the connections carefully and compare them closely to the diagram. You may also want to switch components, especially if they are old. The power source can often be the culprit. 